Hello everyone, Deanna and I are here today from two separate locations. So Deanna's on holiday in Florida right now, and I'm back at our Tim and Bro Diva headquarters in Rochester, New York. So uh, we're gonna get started today. Um, what are we doing first, Deanna? We're gonna talk about the I Definer Shadow. It's actually the part two of the first step. Um, that's the that's the one that I, I, I have to say that um, is the that's been the hardest for me because I always use too much, right? Too much shadow, and I um, so it would be really great for you to get, to give us a couple pointers about that. And you're saying that you know just start with this, not even the eye definer yet. Yeah. Without so so for those women, and there's so many women out there that say I can't do eyeliner. I've never been able to do eyeliner. And so that is one of the reasons why I named this step eye definer, because what the difference in an eyeliner and an eye definer is that an eyeliner just rims the eyes. It doesn't really have a purpose or a function other than bringing attention to this line around your eyes. So from an, a portrait artist's perspective, what I wanna do is create the definition of the eye. So in a blank canvas, I have to draw all of the, the contour, the highlight, you know, just all, every little detail to create the eye. But all we have to do on ourselves is just to give definition. And I direct people right into the, the seam between, I'm gonna get really close here, between the lid and the lashes right here. It's like, you know, just right, right at the base of the lashes. So the eye definer marker, which is actually step number one, is a felt tip marker. It actually has a, like a, a marker tip on the end. And so that is very challenging for women to use at first. So I'm not gonna demonstrate that today, but I'm gonna do part two of step number one, which is the eye definer shadow. So it is a black matte shadow. And I just go back and forth one time, just one time. And then use your hand as a palette and work that fine black powder into the skin on your hand so that it's working it into the brush so that it goes on this area very smoothly and we don't get any crumbs underneath. And then throughout the day when you're blinking and you might be squinting, that none of that comes away from this area. So also, I did it. I get it on the lid. You get it on the lid because you have hooded lids too. And it's because you're using too much and it's a little higher than it needs to be. Okay. So okay. this is this is an angled brush and our angled brush is very, very, very thin. And it's thin for a reason so that you get it in just this tight little area here. So if you rest this brush on the lashes and then just slide it up, and hit that skin. I'm gonna grab my, my mirror to look into. Hit this skin right here between the lid and the lashes, right at the base of the lashes. So then I am just doing a sketching motion right along the lash line, right above the lash line. And so you can see it gives a little bit more definition. Yeah, look at the side. difference between your two eyes. Yes, between the two eyes. So that is the difference. I do have a little teeny residual eye definer. So when um, when I practiced it, I know now that I've used too much powder and I haven't blended it in well enough into my hand. And that's why, you know, throughout the day, I would just get, you know, black above the eye. And I never see that on Deborah at all. So it is just that two swipes with the brush and the black powder, and then really blend it into the brush and then apply it. And she said a blending sketching technique, which is 
just short little strokes. And also she, I saw her anchor her pinky to her cheek and then you can pivot the brush just like she's doing now. Yes, it's that simple. Thank you. Okay, so that way you assured yourself you're not gonna get any smudging around your eyes. Okay, yep. and That's then you would, for the other eye, you would go back and forth on the shadow again and blend it in. I would try first gathering some here from here. And then if there isn't enough coming off to then put a little bit, get a little bit more on the brush, just one so sweep. We're using really just such a small amount of the powder and to define the eyes so that it doesn't look like eyeliner, that yeah. it just looks like your eyes are defined. And, and brighter and yes, yes. So natural. Yes, perfect. Okay, so um, any comments or questions about that, please do you know, leave us a comment or a question in our uh, comment section right below the video. And, and practice sure it. And practice it every day. And then next week you can show us the uh, felt tip liner. Yes, first. we'll do that next week. Wonderful. Okay. okay, so next on the agenda is talking about the relief for anxiety, natural remedies for anxiety. So it seems as though we all have a certain level, most of us have a, a certain level of anxiety. Some are you know, very minimal and others are more extreme. I have, I have experienced different levels of anxiety my whole life. So when I was growing up in the 60s and 70s, it wasn't even a word that, you know, that was talked about. You know, the anxiety wasn't even in our language. I mean, it was in our language, but nobody really talked about it. So now it's just such an open, open story. Everybody talks about their anxiety. And right. so one of the ways that I, I disassociate, kind of disassociate with it, so I never call it my anxiety, I call it the anxiety symptoms that I'm experiencing. So right. that I'm not, not attaching it to myself or my body or labeling anything about me. So it's, not, I, my, it's not my anxiety, it's the anxiety symptoms that I'm experiencing right now. And I didn't even realize that what I was feeling was anxiety before. Yeah. You know? And like, you know, it just it wasn't even well, in tune with how I was feeling. Well, you had gone through your whole entire life and not even experienced anxiety, as I recall. Yeah, as long as I, as far as I know, I know. And, and here, the, we are total opposites in that because I have always had anxiety and didn't have a name for it when we were growing up. I just thought I was a very intense person. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I uh, was sometimes taken the wrong way because of my directness. And um, anyhow, um, a lot of that, you know, is based in the anxiety, the anxious feelings that I was always feeling on the inside yeah. that were not obvious. You can't tell from the outside that somebody is feeling anxious. No. And uh, so I have discovered along the way, you know, over the past many years, 40 years, that uh, there I've used a few different remedies that have really, really, really worked. And instantaneously, lemon balm tincture being one of them. We will have the link for that in the description. And it is sold, made and sold by a company called Vimergy. And their products are that are, you know, he, I learned of them through the medical medium are of the highest quality. There's no alcohol in the tincture. It is a tincture, so it's a liquid. So even children will like the taste of it. And you can always dilute it in water. But to get an immediate immediate result, I just take it sublingually under the tongue. I just do a dropper full. If I need more, I could do up to like an extreme anxiety when I was having like an anxiety attack. I did 10 dropper falls. And this, this remedy you cannot overdose on. And so it is a natural, natural remedy. It comes from the lemon balm herb. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Number two is a, um, a combination of relaxing herbs that was put into a little pill. And it is just a little, little pill. And it's called Formula 303. And that I had uh, learned about through an iridologist who I was seeing at a time in my life. And uh, so she recommended that for me and I have used it and recommended it ever since. 
So at nighttime, if I can't settle my mind, if I can't get to sleep or I wake up out of a nightmare or, you know, something's preventing me from sleeping, I will take up to five of those remedies. And it's, you know, it's not instant because it has to go through your digestion. So you have to give it about 20 minutes and you will feel, feel very relaxed. Sometimes I'll take those during the day just for maintenance, just so that I know, especially if I'm going into a day that I know is going to be very busy or I might encounter some anxiety, that I will take one or two of those in the morning. And I always put lemon balm in my vitamin mixture, just one, one um, drop of all in my vitamin mixture every day. So yeah. those are the two best remedies. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the, the, um, the breathing, the breathing technique. Yes. Yes. The breathing technique. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Come on in. You can sit and watch our, our video or recording. What's your name again? Diane. Diane. Yeah. Diane's here. Diane's here. Okay. There's Diane. <laughs> She's here for her <laughs> brother. <Yeah. laughs> okay. We're recording a video right now. Uh, so the breathing technique, and I teach this so that it's easy to create this new habit in your life, um, knowing how busy we are. So there's something that we, most of us all do, and we do it unconsciously. We don't have to think about it when we're doing that, and that is driving. So when we get in the car, you don't have to think about every little thing that you have to do. So you just get in, you get all settled. Before you put your car in gear, take three deep breaths. Just three of those. And then put your car in gear. And even one deep breath really relaxed me. So three is the magic number. And so then when you get to your destination, before you get out of the car, you know, you get everything ready, you turn the car off, everything. And before you put your door, your hand on the door handle, take three more deep breaths. Just three of those. And then <clears throat> I've also used it uh, at red lights, where when there's a red light, instead of thinking about like many other, you know, rushing your Exactly. Yeah. Red light, so exactly. take a deep breath. You can do yeah. it with your eyes open or closed, just yeah. even one deep breath. And it brings you back into your body and it helps to relax you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So um, let's see. Then, then, you know, after 30 days, it will become a habit. So you'll find yourself when you'll find yourself when you start tensing up and feeling anxiety at any point in time that you can just take a deep breath. You can even do it in conversation with someone. You know, you can do it, you know, less obviously, you know, just take a deep breath while you're talking, even while you're talking, which I just did. And that just brings us right back into, into the center, into our bodies, into our hearts. And so we can be more of who we are as a, you know, and respond as a, opposed to, reacting, which is an automated response when, especially when we're in an anxiety moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, so one tip I'd like to give that I've, I've witnessed you give clients is to write the word breathe on a post-it note and just put it on your dash or put it on your, your radio and keep it there and maybe move it around just so that you remember when you get in the car to take a deep breath, take three deep breaths, or when you're before you get out of the car, to take three deep breaths. Yeah. So it is. It's a great visual reminder. Um, some people will set. You know, well, you can't really set something on your phone. Um, set a reminder or a timer. You could do that. You know, throughout the day, if you want to remember. And then you know, a lot of people have it on their Apple Watch. You know, tells them when to breathe. You know, instead of taking one breath, just do three deep breaths. And um, then it becomes automated and that will be an unconscious activity that you do during the day. It will become that way. It's like training, it's like muscle training, but your muscle, you're training the muscles of your brain and, and you know, just changing your thought process so that it doesn't, it doesn't, you just happens 
automatically and unconsciously and you'll get to you'll get to that point and you'll be amazed at how it doesn't take very long it's just a matter of making a decision and then disciplining yourself to do it yes yes okay. and getting in the habit of doing it it only takes 21 28 days to get in a habit right exactly it's just automatic yes and now we wanted to also talk about our living our lifestyle you know of being plant-based um, um and taking it on the road taking it on the road so when we're in our travels so Deanna um you could speak a little bit about your experience this week um and then then we're going to wrap things up yeah so I um I learned from Deborah and Sam I made my smoothie the night before we were going to take off and we just did a car trip so I had everything packed and I made my smoothie and um, and then, you know, I even brought my my juicer, my citrus juicer and my celery juicer, my citrus juicer and my Vitamix with me and I made a couple salads. And because we don't use oil on the salad, um, I just use a citrus juice and maybe a little honey and fresh garlic. So it was just so easy to have the salads already made and I had apples and dates. And so when we drove for 15 hours, I, I didn't have to stop for food. We had all the food. And then when I got here and I set everything up in the kitchen, we went to the grocery store, I brought, bought some more food. And then the best thing is, is I had heard about a vegan restaurant here in Sarasota. And um, I went to, to see it the other day and it was just, it was so fantastic. Just what had the everything. name of it? It was a raw vegan restaurant called Ioni. And Ioni is um, her name. And we'll have the links to that if you're ever in the Sarasota area to go to Ioni's restaurant. It's right in Sarasota. And it is, um, it's just every little detail it was just, it was just beautiful. And I could go there every day. <laughs> wow. We'll have the link and we'll have the picture of me with Ioni in the description. And I was telling Ioni about our Tim, our Tim makeup. And really the, you know, the mission is to bring everyone into their center and show everyone their beauty. And she asked if we would come and do an event there. Well, that's exciting. I can't wait to go there and meet Ioni and do, and do the event too. Yeah. So if yeah. anyone's in the Sarasota area, um, connect with us and we'll let you know when we're going to be at Ioni's to uh, do a Tim presentation. That's going to be fun. Um, and let's see, uh, next week I'll talk about my adventure on the road because my daughter Sam and I car camped for a week in Florida and we were on the east coast of Florida and it was just a week before Deanna went and it was a much different experience. I didn't stay in an Airbnb, so I didn't have my own juicers and, and uh, Vitamix and everything, but I'll be, um, uh, we'll be looking forward to telling you all about it next week. And uh, anything else for today, Deanna? Or we, did we cover everything? Oh, that's, that's great. Just remember, remember you're doing this for you. You're doing this to really feel good every day. And we can, we can feel good every day. It takes some effort, but know that really there's nothing more important than feeling really good and that you can be in control of how you feel because you're the only one that knows how you feel. Yes, I love that. Thank, Thank you. you everyone for watching. We'll see you next week. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Have a great week. Bye.